It's the coldest part of one of the coldest countries in the world, but it's caught the eye of a Chinese billionaire. 300 square kilometers of Icelandic wilderness that could become a tourist resort if Huang Nubo gets his way. I'm going to run two projects there. First, I'll build a luxurious resort, including a 100-room hotel and a villa cluster. Second, I'm planning to build a golf course, a horse farm and a race course. It sounds innocent enough coming from a man who describes himself as a poet. But there are questions over whether it's part of a more strategic plan for China to gain a foothold in the North Atlantic. The tract of land is around Grimstadir, in the northeast of the country. But the island itself lies just three and a half thousand kilometers from the United States and is close to the Arctic Ocean, where nations are already competing for unexploited resources. Nubo is an ex-communist party official, but denies any political motivations behind the project. He says it's just one of many nature retreats he plans to build in the Nordic region. But analysts note the deal fits with China's expansion policy. Europe's crisis has been China's opportunity, and China has been looking at Europe for buying up sort of strategic assets, both in high technology and in like ports in Greece. Iceland's economy was devastated by the banking collapse, and the country is looking for a cash injection. This is uh, in alignment with uh, the government policy of increasing foreign investment in Iceland, of uh, promoting Iceland as a tourist destination. But whatever the motivations, there are still concerns this pristine environment could be damaged by the development, and part of Iceland lost forever. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera.